few short days into Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, Fortnite have just added a brand new mythic item to the game that we're going to be going over here in today's video as a part of an all new collaboration that you don't want to miss out on as it's honestly going to be pretty insane. We do have tons of updates arriving over the course of this season with there being confirmed to be 5 updates arriving over the course of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. You want to be sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video as we're going to be going over everything. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now. If you want this to be your Fortnite account the next time you log in, choice is all yours. Deal with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, including the Season 2 Battle Pass, do consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel. That extra mile. Hashtag uh. But before we get into the brand new mythic item that you want to make sure you're staying tuned for, we do actually know about the brand new Midas event, which is actually said to be arriving with the brand new Fortnite update in just one week's time. They are said to be getting the arrival of the 29.01 update on the 19th of March, which is actually said to include some pretty cool content. From the arrival of all of the bonus rewards that are obviously hidden on the battle pass page from all the way up from level 140 to level 200, which is obviously going to be five of the battle pass outfits, just like the way we've seen these in previous seasons, so that's definitely going to be pretty cool for any of you guys who have already maxed out your battle pass. There's some pretty insane ways of leveling up here inside of Season 2, so be sure to let me know down in the comments what level are you currently here in Season 2. But also, we're getting the arrival of Midas with the brand new Fortnite update. As we do know, he's currently underneath the Underworld location, and you can actually see his cell doors closed right now. Over the next few days, we can actually see that the vault door will actually open up, and we can see what is actually inside of it. So it looks like there's actually a gold key card obviously giving us clues to how exactly he escaped he will be making his way over to the yacht location that we currently have on the forney island then he actually will be a brand new boss that you will be able to find here with a brand new medallion as we can actually see a medallion on the brand new ascendant Midas skin itself so that's definitely going to be pretty cool i'm really curious to see what this does he will have tons of brand new challenges to complete in game which will actually be giving out tons of pretty cool free rewards the part of the brand new floor is lava ltm which will be arriving in the game very soon and we also do know we're going to be getting the arrival of a brand new drum gun on the Forney island this one will actually support all of the attachments so you will be able to modify this at weapon benches which is definitely pretty cool as it's obviously different compared to the original drum gun we had all the way back in Forney chapter 2 that's definitely pretty excited so i would definitely be sure to keep you guys updated on any more information we do get about the brand new free rewards as we already have a look at a few of them being a brand new back bling harvesting tool and also a glider it does look like with the arrival of the brand new season of Fortnite we've actually gotten a small update to the Kratos skin, which obviously was last seen back in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. Here is what the skin looked like before the release of the brand new season of Fortnite, and here is what the skin looks like now. And it definitely does look like he's a lot more angrier this time around. Just no coincidence, considering we do know that Kratos originally does come from Greek mythology in the God of War games. And he is actually the son of Zeus. So that obviously is a, probably a factor to why he's a lot more angrier this time around, considering he does hate his dad. It's also pretty funny as we also do have Ares on the Forney Island right now in the form of a brand new boss who obviously does have some pretty cool mythic abilities. It will be available as a part of the Fortnite crew pack for the month of April, so for any of you guys who are subscribed to that, I definitely would be sure you're doing so now, considering you're also getting access to the Rocket League Pass. If you guys didn't already know, if you do log on to Rocket League while actually having this Rocket League Pass active, you do get a free vehicle inside of Rocket League, which can then be used inside of Fortnite Battle Royale and Rocket Racing. You can see up on screen right here is called the Admiral, which I definitely do think looks like a pretty cool vehicle be sure you're not missing out on that as that will be arriving on the 1st of april as a part of the fortnite crew as obviously it has two brand new edit styles which i definitely do think are pretty clean but with kratos getting some changes to his skin it does look like he will be returning to the fortnite item shop very very soon as we actually had some massive leaks about some brand new collaborations did you know kratos is actually going to be getting a new edit style that actually will allow you to turn him into his greek version from the original god of war games on the playstation 2 and playstation 3 but definitely do think will be pretty fitting for this season considering it's obviously a greek mythology theme we should also be seeing the arrival of kratos's son in the game as this was actually leaked as another 
upcoming collaboration, obviously being Atreus, who is actually a form of Loki in Norse mythology. Also pretty interesting about this is the fact that we do know the new creative director over at Epic Games is actually name is Charlie Wen. And Charlie Wen is obviously replacing Donald Mustard inside of the Fortnite storyline. Well, Charlie Wen actually came up with the original concept art for Kratos when it did actually come to the original games. Definitely would make sense that he would obviously want one of his key characters to make their way back into Fortnite, especially with this Greek mythology themed season. Don't worry, we also do have a brand new mythic item as well, which is actually going to be a pretty insane one. You know that we're actually going to be getting five total updates here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, with each update containing something massive. You know the brand new secret skin will be available in a few short weeks, obviously being Korra from the Avatar series. At some point, we also will be getting a brand new Avatar event pass, which obviously is going to include Aang as a brand new outfit on the event pass itself, and also a brand new Appa Glider, as this was actually leaked last season. We had a look at one of the brand new mythic items arriving for this, obviously being the water bending ability, which I have to say looks pretty cool. We most likely will be seeing other ones make their way into the game as a part of this event as well, obviously being other elements from the Avatar series. Be sure to be on the lookout for that as that core skin is going to be available in a few short weeks time. Also, don't forget we're still set to see the arrival of the brand new Hades mythic item as well, which is obviously already inside of the game files as it was actually seen in the season 2 trailer. But obviously Hades can actually use this ability against you if you do actually try and take out his boss and I have to say it's definitely really annoying. Obviously should be making its way into the game very soon, being obtainable by eliminating the Hades boss that could be found at the underworld location. New also have another massive collaboration item that's going to be making its way into the game here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. Obviously, we're getting the brand new God of War collab, which is going to add in a brand new edit style for Kratos being the Greek version, which I'm honestly super excited to see in game. Well, he also will be getting his very own mythic items on the Fortnite Island, which are actually going to be the Blades of Chaos, which are his traditional weapons in those original God of War games. I'm guessing will most likely be found as floor loot over the course of the season, which is definitely going to be pretty cool as it's obviously going to work very similarly to the Hades mythic item. Overall, I'm actually super excited for this as I'm a big fan of the God of War series and I can't wait to see what these items are like in game. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for that. Does not even end there when it does come to brand new updates over the course of this season as we do actually have new information that we're going to be seeing a brand new Star Wars collab. Most likely will be arriving on May the 4th as obviously we do see an event for this every single year. I've actually found inside of the game files a brand new Star Wars weapon which is actually going to be the Wookiee Bowcaster which is actually going to be pretty cool as it kind of confirms we're going to be seeing the arrival of Chewbacca. It's kind of crazy why we don't actually have him in the game just yet consider we already have so many iconic Star Wars characters. I guess is we also will see some other Star Wars characters as well from the movies and obviously the shows so be sure to let me know down in the comments out of any Star Wars characters that are not actually in Fortnite just yet who would you like to see? That's definitely pretty cool but it does look like we're also going to be seeing a live event at the very end of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, which is honestly pretty shocking considering I wasn't expecting to see one at all this chapter. We do know the Fortnite storyline is actually starting up yet again here inside of Season 2, which is honestly pretty cool, with the arrival of Midas back on the Fortnite Island. Which I'm guessing the event will most likely revolve around him, most likely trying to create a device live event, obviously being version 2. I personally think it would be super sick to see here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5, considering the graphics have obviously improved so much ever Ever since chapter 2. And as we do know, Fortnite Season OG will actually be arriving later on this year, so this could even be linked to how exactly we go back to the OG Fortnite Island. Leave your thoughts on that down in the comments as I definitely do think it's going to be pretty cool that we're going to be seeing live events happen in Fortnite again as we obviously haven't seen a major storyline event in quite a while now. To see if you want to keep up with the storyline, be sure you're doing all of the storyline related quests that we do actually have in game right now as these are obviously going to give out more bits of information over the course of the season. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. If you're not already, do you consider using my support creator code YTORAY as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile? Hashtag yeah. If you did enjoy it, do drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.